Hello? Hello? Okay, hello? Everybody here? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to speak in English and then I'm going to speak in Hebrew for people who don't understand English. I'm going to go to the English. Okay, dear friends, firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for holding our hands, davening, and plain, just plain being there for us these last four years. Shalom Daniel has taken a turn for the worse in the last couple of months. His situation is very critical, and we're imploring HaKadosh Baruch Hu for a nace. I've been asking people to take Shabbos in 10 minutes early every week, and to keep him in mind it should be a schus for his refuah. Rabbi Shimshon Pincus explains the idea of Shabbos. Every Yom Tov we have Sukkot, Pesach, Shavuos. We know and understand the meanings. Matan Torah, Yitzias Mitzrayim. Chazal say that Shabbos is holier than all the Chagim. The meaning of Shabbos is Lishbot, to stop everything. And when you just stop everything you're doing, the only thing left is to connect to Hashem. Shabbos is Mekor Bracha because it is the gateway to let Hashem into the world. All week long we're working, believing that we're doing things, we're keeping the world moving, we're accomplishing. Then Shabbos comes, we're not doing anything, and lo and behold, the world still continues. We're letting Hashem into the world. It's just us and Him. And as a result, the entire week is blessed with Shefa. Shabbos is the Cheder Yichud of the Chassan and Kala. We prepare a whole week, and on Shabbos, we're in the Cheder Yichud with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. No business, no mundane matters. We try to speak as much Divrei Torah and holy matters. On Friday night, we sing Shalom Aleichem. Why do we say Tzeschem L'Shalom? Why, why, don't we want, why do we want the Malachim to leave? Don't we want them with us all Shabbos? Because in the Cheder Yichud, there is no room even for Malachim. It's just us and Hashem. When a Chas and Kala prepare for their wedding day, they prepare a whole day. No one arrives on his wedding at 6 o'clock Chuppah time. He's there hours before, getting ready physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Would we dare think of showing up 10 minutes late to our own chuppah? Hashem's name is Shabbos. If we let Hashem into our lives, if we open up the gates, welcoming Him with love and anticipation like a chassan waits for his kala, then all the shefa can come down with refuas and yeshuas. So that was the reason behind asking everyone to accept Shabbos early. Let me tell you a little bit about Shalom Daniel ben Leah the young man you're davening for. My daughter Adina spent last Shabbos with us. Shalom Daniel was smiling all day long. Adina asked him, how can you smile in your situation? He answered, the smile is here to stay. He's constantly thanking Hashem for his tumor. It allowed him to become who he needs to be. When the doctor gave us the news that the, the tumor was progressing, she told Shalom Daniel to make the best of his, the time that he has left and to set himself a goal. He replied that he's already set a goal. And what is that, she asked? That Hashem should be proud of him, and he surely feels that he has achieved it. He's mekabel the situation ba'ahava and b'simcha, even though he's suffering. This last year he felt well, and he took advantage of every minute to improve and grow and grow and grow. Ladies, let's use our minutes, our hours, our days, our weeks wisely to grow and grow and let's make Hashem proud of us. Thank you.